What is up, my guys? It's New Year's Eve, and currently I am waiting for my class. I will be heading over to Eastwood to watch the countdown for New Year's. This is gonna be my first time. Every New Year's Eve, I have always been just at home. I'm probably gonna be alone later. At least I'll have me time, right? My class is probably over around the corner, now, so I'll see you guys when I get to Eastwood. Guys, I just got here at Eastwood. Sorry if it's a little bit loud. It's usually really loud here. Right now, I'm gonna try to take photos of this place. Hopefully, I can get some shots of this place before the sun sets. This is cool. Look, look at this. There are lights everywhere. Like, this is low key so cool. Looking for something. I'm looking for something. I just don't know what it is. I really want to find something that really piques my interest and just makes me want to go, like, oh, I want to capture this. Shit. I'm gonna try to head over there and see what I can do from there. Actually, here, I, I feel like this is gonna be a good shot. Okay, so I think I got my favorite shot of the day. I I don't know how it's gonna look like. I'm, I'm, I have yet to edit it later, but you guys can see how the photo turned out. I'm, pro I'm gonna try to take more photos and I'm gonna share it with you guys if I do. Um, but right now, I wanna find a place where I can load because I, I went out and I realized I don't have mobile data so I can't access the internet. Okay, so I'm over at Cyberzone and I'm hoping to find a place to um, get my phone loaded up with mobile data because I really want to use the internet right now. I just want to check my Instagram right now to be honest. Okay, it's 5.18 and I finally found a place to load up. Hopefully I can find more awesome subjects to take photos of. Um, but right now, yeah, I'm just gonna go around Eastwood. Since 2019 is practically over, I might as well tell you guys some awesome stuff that I learned this year. And one thing I learned this 2019 is just how to spend time with yourself. You don't need to have anyone with you when you go out and sometimes spending time with yourself is actually therapeutic. And I would highly suggest you guys to like, it's not easy if you're an introvert and you're not used to like traveling. Once you do do it, it's like one of the best things ever. Anyways, the next thing that I learned this 2019 is how amazing black coffee is. And the, like, those two things are just like, ah, uh, I can never go a day without coffee. I can never, if ever I do go a day without coffee, I should have tea as a supplement instead. Cause like, literally, I'm, I can't, I can't stay awake the whole day without my daily dose of coffee. Cause like, what happens basically is that by midday, if I don't have coffee, I'm probably gonna fall asleep or feel super tired and like not be productive at all. Like coffee is what makes me productive. Without coffee, I don't know. I'm just gonna be like super tired. Guys, SpongeBob is out of the water. How is he not in the sea? And there's Thanos. He's gonna wipe out half of the world. Iron Man is right there. Why are you not doing anything about Thanos? What if Thanos snaps us all into disintegrated ash and be part of the universe again? Iron Man is Loki in deep with Thanos, and they found a way to make SpongeBob breathe without um, water. And it's so so annoying. There's people behind me saying "Kuya vlog," and I'm like super like, ah, just don't look at them. Eastwood is low-key really really cool. This vibe in Eastwood is like super wonderful. I love this place. I guess my number three is going to be don't be afraid to go up to people and actually talk to them. Because like you won't know how much of a connection you can make with people if you don't go up to them and talk to them. It's hard, especially if you're an introvert. I understand that. But it's never too late to work on your social skills. Social skills is very important when you're outside. And especially, it's really, really good if you want to make connections with people. Not just friendships, but even work connections. You can legit do so much just by going up to people and actually talking to them. Man, I'm not liking my hair right now. I really want to cut my hair shorter. Like legit, right now, I want to cut it off. Yeah, so like legit, it's super super loud out there and like, I'm not gonna stay there right now. Anyways, um, number four. Um, I guess the fourth thing I learned this year is spend time with your friends. Oh my gosh, it's Regan. This is my Grocery friend Regan. Hello. He's gonna help me with my grocery shopping. So yeah, spend time with your friends. Right now, I am looking for a creme densada and some, um, 
sour cream, I guess. Um, so hey guys, um, so I'm currently with Reagan right now because Reagan lives here and she's around the area and she just got home from like Pasig or something. Yeah, so we got Starbucks. Hey, Starbucks. Yes, we love Starbucks. What did you learn this 2019? Um, what was the biggest thing you learned this 2019? Heartbreak. <laughs> what? Um, this year has been very complicated for me. I think a lot of my mid friends know that. But I've learned a lot. No regrets though, I, just lessons. No lessons. Focus on yourself, man. Your mental health, you know, spiritual growth, all those cameras, you know. Love yourself. Well, <laughs> no really. Like, love yourself first before loving other people. This girl is leaving now. Yes, I'm so sad. Yeah, she's gonna be heading back to her condo. Condo unit? Yeah. Condo. She's gonna be heading back to her condo unit. She won't be watching Countdown with me. She'll be like making fruit salad and all of that boring stuff. Boring stuff? <laughs> I'm just joking. So, anyways, that was my friend Reagan. And yeah, she talked about how you should love yourself more and focus on yourself. Like spiritually, mentally, emotionally, everything. And I believe now if you learn to focus on those, stu those stuff and you like love yourself more first, I believe that you will be more contented with what you have and know what you can do. And in the end result, you can make other people happy as well. And you can make your life better. And 2019, I just realized that the highlight of this vlog is no longer about this countdown or Eastwood party and stuff. But the highlight of this vlog is the stuff that I've learned in 2019 and how I can share it for you guys. I, I practically want you guys to like explore as well and wh where your life is going. Be, be purposeful, be intentional. Just, mm, just, just, just put your heart in everything that you do. And I've done a lot of um, unreasonable things this year, but I'm just happy now. My heart is still where it is and it hasn't fallen into like traps of the world and stuff like that. But yeah, I believe that you guys are gonna have a wonderful 2020. Just believe it. Just have faith in yourself. If you don't have faith in yourself, I'm gonna tell you now, if when nobody else believes in you, I believe in you, God believes in you, keep going forward, keep pushing forward, keep moving. Believing that you can do it is already half of the battle. And just believe in yourself. Uh, I'm gonna try to show snippets of the concert here. Yeah. I'm not actually sure if I'm gonna stay till 12 till the countdown finishes. Cause like, it's like, it's like three hours and a half. It's like three hours and 30 minutes more. And I, I don't want to wait. Cause I, I'm so tired. Not to be honest. But like, I hope this, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, my name is Vin Albert Jardy. Bye. This has been my 2019 last vlog or whatever. I'm probably gonna post this in 2020 now. So, YOLO, yeah, yeah, stuff like that. I'm gonna see you guys next year. In a few months, in a few days. Thank you. I'm gonna see you guys in 2020. Um, love you. 3000. See you guys. Bye. -bye.